YouTube. I'm uh, going to do another video on my stage six of my uh, my uh, my motor, my uh, dual opposing rotational magnetic motor. Um, I think the last video I put out, stage five, I only had uh, the front plate working, you know, with the eight, with the eight coils on the new circuit, and I was going to put uh, the second drive plate operational in the next video. Well, when I got that together and I got everything timed, I start having. A little difficulty, a couple of failures, coils. I started blowing. I got this thing up uh, to around 3,200 RPMs and uh, started losing coils. Or, uh, not coils, but, well, yeah, coils, but losing the coils because the magnets start coming out of the out of the rotor. It was destroying the coils and stuff so uh, happened twice and I got everything rebuilt and so now I got it back together and I'm going to right here live on your TV shoe I'm gonna fire this thing up and see if my rotor modifications uh, will handle the higher RPMs, so that's, that's where I'm at right now. So, without further ado, let's get some, I'm going to take it easy, I'm going to start at, I'm going to start at 20 volts, make sure my car's all the way up. And Contact, 20 volts. Kind of scared to fire this thing up at high voltage. Now the voltage tends to be low. Because I guess the coils in the circuit ain't taking the voltage. The current is high until it starts developing a lot of RPMs, then the current drops and the voltage increases. Well, this thing is humming now. Just in case I blow something. Thirty forty four. Twenty volts. Just over 2,900 over here. Now that that side over there, the coils have a little bit higher resistance than the coils on this side. 
this one goes faster by about 175 up to 200 RPMs. So I have to go back in and trim those coils on, on this second plate so that they match the same as these because it's clearly having a difference. Well, this one's at 3,100 and 10. And this one's just over 29, so it's already peaked. So let's give her some more voltages. Go up to 22. I should have a face shield on. <laughs> it's starting to gyrate. It's starting to gyrate really, really good. This one is just about ready to click over to 3300 RPMs. Stabilized right at uh, 3297. 32, uh, that's a Actually, a 32, that's a 9, not a 7. 3297. And this one is only 3077. It maybe has something to do with it, with the timing. Seventy-seven. Woo! That thing's putting out some voltage. can't put your hand on both of those, man. It puts out serious voltage. Okay, I'm going to turn it up to 30, I mean, uh, 24 volts. This is where things went bad last time. This one's at 3470, 3472, 3188, uh, 3170 actually, what that is, 3190, 3186, okay, 3186. Uh, not quite the 3200 RPMs where it blew before. 
at 32.75. That's really good news that it hasn't blown. This was at 3577. Uh, uh, 3300 right there 3300 and it hasn't blown so oh I guess that's good news well that's really good news because it got the 3200 before man it just threw out two magnets really interesting thing though is this power supply is that I don't think it supplies enough enough current enough power and the reason I say that is because if I disconnect the hull from this second plate then the FETs um, they'll never trigger, they'll never enable. Um, so if I run just this front plate and it's able to use whatever power it needs without being starved for power from this other plate or through limitation in the power supply. When I run just this plate, I just listen to the tone. You hear that tone? I mean, it is a total difference. A total difference between driving the one plate versus the two plates. I'll give it some time to. Six nineteen right now. Thirty nine. 
So I think my real problem in terms of uh, both of the coils uh, achieving maximum uh, rotation is, uh, is a power supply issue. I know it's not, it can't be from the, from the circuit board because all the grounds are bust, heavy, heavy copper bussing. Um, I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to figure that out anyway. Well, that's the, uh, that's half, that's part of the update. The other part of the update is I wanted to uh, tell you guys where I'm going with this because I know I haven't really given much information on where I'm going with this. Um, let me see if you guys can see what I'm looking at here. I'm going to show you my uh, show you guys my, my design for where I'm going with this machine. Of course, these are all the machines. You know, see, everything I do, I, I design it on a computer. Every project I've ever done, it's all on this this file. I got one other file. This is the way it sits right now. A dual. It's a dual stage, dual plate, dual rotor. But, you know, there, back in like 1931, you know, Hitler had this guy named Victor Schauberger who was developing this magnetic propulsion, magnetic levitation propulsion type motor. And it was based on three magnetic plates that all counter-opposed in rotation. I can't find anything on it. I can find a couple of sketches on it, but that's that's what I'm doing. That That's what I got. I got three... My next stage is going to be three rotors, and so it's going to be up to me to do the experiments on the interior uh, magnetic configuration as far as opposing or repelling uh, as I modulate uh, the field waves in between these rotors, and that's, I guess that's where I'm going with this. Um, you know, fart around with the different configurations and see if I can come up with something kind of cool. But I guess that's what we all do, right? Just fart around with stuff and see if we can find cool stuff. <laughs> and that's it. I'll keep you guys. I'll keep you guys updated with uh, with where I'm going, what I'm going to do, and, and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. Uh, like always, you guys uh, make sure you. Have as much fun as you can, and uh, you guys be good, and I'll catch you next time.